Foundation as Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary and today is Saturday, March 15th, 2025. I'm joined by one of my Inland Carpet Pythons, Vegan Bray, and I just want to welcome you to part two of snake proofing your home or your building or other facility. In part one, we talked about which snakes that I allow to free roam here and the criteria that I base the privilege on. So there are certain snakes that I free roam and certain snakes that I don't. That may be different for you. And the way that you snake proof your home or facility might be different for you than how I have to do it here. But this is part two, where we're now gonna get into some specifics about snake proofing specific areas. But the simplest thing for me to show you first about snake proofing is how I snake proof my doors to my various rooms so that if I wanna have a snake confined to one room, they can't get out through, under, or around the door. So let's go take a look at that. We are gonna begin our discussion of snake proofing doors with our out building. This is a building that used to be a garage. It's separate from our house. And I have a storage area in half of it along with an area for our dogs. And this door leads into the reptile area where we have mostly snakes, I have a leopard gecko and I have a colony of mealworms and darkling beetles. Now we're on the other side of the door. This door leads out into the dog area that we just came from and I'm gonna go over this barrier at the bottom. Now, you can see that there is a slight gap there and it's, it's about big enough for my index finger to fit through, no larger. So this is what I'm saying that when I say snake proof, it means that a medium and large snake, a medium or large constrictor is not gonna get through those spaces. That doesn't mean that my juvenile snake, my hatchling, my baby snake, my neonate, or some kind of a species that's very small couldn't get through there. I have certain parameters for which snakes I let free roam and which ones I don't. And that is based on species, based on their behavior, and based on their size. Now we're gonna go over and detail the bottom of the interior doors. And it has just screwed into it this barrier. And this is made for doors to keep drafts from coming under the door, from cold or warm air, from traveling underneath the door. It works great to keep medium or larger snakes from traveling under the door. I only let medium and large snakes free roam. I don't let tiny snakes or babies free roam because I do not have my snake proofing at a level where that would be appropriate. Now let's take a look at this other door. You'll see that it is the same, no gaps. And we have the same barrier at the bottom. And if you're wondering what this looks like from the inside, I'm gonna show you. Now we're going inside this room where Salazar is often free roaming. And I'm not sure where he is at the moment, but Sonara, one of my other Brettles pythons, is loose and free roaming in this room right now. And you can see there's no gaps in the ceiling that a Brettles could fit through, that I've got some shelves up here for them to use as they're free roaming. And then we're gonna pan around here to a window so I can open this window in nice weather and there's a screen there, there's no gap. So let's take a look at the floor. Here's what the bottom of the door to the room looks like. I'm gonna try to put the camera underneath it so that you can see that there is really no, there's barely any gap at all between the concrete and the door sweep. And a, a medium to large snake is not gonna be able to get under there. Could they push this off? I guess theoretically they could if they were strong enough, but I've never had that happen. Salazar free roams in this room all the time. He's a seven foot Brettles python and he's 14 years old. He's very thick. I've never had him or any snake get out. And I've never had any snake that's been out here free roaming because there is one free roaming out here right now get into that room. So, so far this is working out quite well. Now we're inside and this is my office and this room's in the process of being remodeled. We've already done the floors. We're making changes to this room and as of right now, this room is set up for snakes to free roam. We've got shelves set up for them 
and there's nowhere there they can get into vents or get through the the floors there's no space between the wall and the floor we don't have the baseboards on yet there's a free roamer right there that is mavity some of my royals don't get to free roam and some don't get to free roam for a really long time because they tend to go to ground and hide and i don't like that i like to see them know where they're at so the snakes that are climbers or that don't hide tend to be the ones that get more free roaming time but let's take a look at a room that is made for free roaming that belongs to TC. So this is Cal Steady's room. This is actually the room that he lives in and it's just right off of my office. And we had an issue with him getting the room open. So this room had a door handle like this and the door handle pushes down and the door pops open. And TC learned that if he put his body weight on the door handle, it would pop the door and then he could get out. And he did that several times. So we had to change it for a door knob that now has to be turned in order for the door to open. So you might be asking, how does he not get out the bottom? Well, we've got a barrier at the bottom. Now this is an old ranch house. It's designed a lot different than our new building is. So this is a really wide space between the bottom of the door and uh, the floor, like three, four fingers worth of space. So what we did in this case, because those do that door sweep just wouldn't have worked, is we put some pegboard or some type of board at the bottom, and I'll show you what it looks like from the inside so that TC cannot get out. Here is what that looks like from the inside. So this is a pretty old house, and we're working with what we have because we don't have the money to do a complete 100% remodel. So we have screwed this piece of wood, piece of um, board into the bottom of the door and it does still allow air to flow through. It allows me to run extension cords through, but it is not large enough for TC or any of the medium or large constrictors to get out. Oh. Well, everybody, I hope you found that helpful. I hope you found it educational. Tune in for part three where I will go over snake proofing yet another space in your home or other facility. And until next time, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals.